Hi folks, we're back in Tabiti Park and this is Daniel Bob and we're going to jump right into a speed belt. So uh, you can see, or you saw perhaps down in the lower left hand corner, the uh, T-Rex Cafe that I had originally placed as part of the uh, having some facilities for guests to spend money to build up the, the park's uh, um, bank. And uh, now I'm messing with trying to get this uh, brick flooring to match the colors of uh, the herringbone path, uh, which I didn't manage to do uh, at all, and so I decided to make it slightly different. This uh, is something I changed completely a little bit later. Uh, having set out that first bit of path uh, with that, I decided to square up this uh, build and uh, blend it in a little bit better with it doing things like moving that, that light with the banners, and then also uh, deciding to put some surround around the building and expand the building a little bit as well. Uh, because among other things, the door was uh, too low. Uh, I tried messing with the bricks a little bit, and uh, that also uh, eventually impacted my uh, decision to change the flooring uh, because they were not the same and still too similar. Um, so uh, one of the things you always have to do with the, the round corners when you change the directions there is it's not going to be happy uh, following the grid and uh, blending with other things, straight walls that is, that are on the grid. So uh, you're going to have to do a little bit of adjusting on those. It's part of the way it's working in the engine right now. Uh, so this is a build I did um, sort of piecemeal, uh, changing my mind on a lot of things as I went along. Uh, I decided that I would pick up some of the building material theming that is in that uh, uh, guest entrance building that I had already prefabbed in brought into this build. And uh, so that was the idea was to uh, keep it the same, but maybe shift it a little, or at least the idea at this stage. Ultimately decided that some of these choices were not for the best. So you'll see changes in the course of this build as we go along, some major, uh, some minor. Um, and uh, I already, I'll apologize ahead of time. Uh, there'll be a big chunk of this build you won't see because it took hours and even speeding it up it was a little too much for what uh, YouTube requests for uh, you, uh, content providers who are uh, uh, as low down on the totem pole as uh, my, uh, I am because of the, the number of subscribers I have or don't have as the case may be. Anyway. If you're here watching it, thank you for being here. Um, appreciate it. And, uh, you know, drop a comment. Uh, that helps. Gets more eyes on things. Anyway, uh, I decided to mimic the roof here. That's uh, similar to what was done on that uh, guest entrance building, but a little bit different. Um, you know, the general idea, but not exactly the same. And this upper level is intended to be a uh, a function area uh, for, you know, I don't know, some kind of uh, zoo night party or uh, some kind of fundraising gala, uh, possibly uh, educational presentations. Uh, any number of things could be held up here. And uh, from all that class, you, you can tell that the guests will have a good view into the park from up there. So this is the first build where I use the pillars that um, are a um, modular piece that is relatively new to the game. And uh, since they can be textured with any of the materials that the walls can, uh, they are, I think, will prove very, very versatile. So uh, we're moving through this speed build on the second floor here. And this would probably be administrative offices primarily. Um, and the, the lower level will be several different things. Eventually, I will get to the signage in this build, and you'll see what the major ones are. Um, 
I think maybe eventually there will be some extensions off to the uh, backstage part of the park. Um, I'm not sure when they'll, those will come in or exactly what they'll be, but it seems like the right thing to do. Uh, so uh, the other thing about that guest building was it had rounded corners at the back. So here I am uh, putting rounded corners on this side of the building as well and um, trying to make them their own thing while keeping some of that same architectural sense of the, the rounded corners and uh, that roof line and stuff all just to, to keep it together. Uh, there's going to be quite a, a upper patio sort of thing there and I have some thoughts in mind on how to set that up so it's utilizable by the uh, guests and separately by the staff. Um, obviously this is not all going to get finished out. I'm not going to be paying a whole lot of attention to the lobbies that will be visible from outside. just wanted to establish that they're there. And uh, yeah, so that's the rough layout of the building. Um, and then I changed my mind. Look at that. <laughs> and decided to make this end um, more of a facilities uh, area of the roof, uh, a place where I can add more uh, solar panels or, or wind turbines to keep the park supplied with power and also a roof over that uh, administrative section and they're going to get the round corners too because that just seemed the right thing to do at this point. Um, one of the nice things about building in this game is you can grab things and stretch them like I'm doing now. Uh, with the, the top roof so I get a little bit of overhang and I don't have to add a whole ton of uh, little edge pieces and I can take that other one and make it other section of roof and make it a little bit bigger and get a trim line around the uh, edge of the building um, and since the wall above that uh, rooftop surface is uh, too short for people to walk around in I decided to add this stairway for the staff to get up to that area. Um, you know, I'm not having to worry about how it all works inside, um, so I can get away with things like this. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, fiddling with getting exact dimensions or better dimensions and now getting a little more relief on the walls, which were far too flat and, and straight. Um, again, the ability to be able to pull those things out is a great feature too. Uh, they stay part of the group, but you get them off the grid and then you can get those more subtle architectural features uh, into your building. And there's a lot of different ways I use that in this build uh, with those columns, um, with those uh, panels. Um, and as you know, as I said, the roofs. So uh, this is primarily in a uh, guest services administration kind of building. Um, and uh, there it is, uh, the general layout of it. But of course, a lot of things still to fuss with. So I decided to uh, tint the, the metalwork on the windows to match the stuff I had done on the ground level entrances and you know pull out these uh, panels with the metal uh, texture and make them a little bit taller make them proud of the wall uh, all to give it a little more architectural interest uh, so the next job of course is landscaping this thing into place you can see that i already have some lighting and some um, planters and place uh, that's a bunch of stuff and that happened that I managed to not actually get recorded. Uh, also put in some of the lobby flooring. You can see the checkerboard black and white in the back there. And you can see the crownies on there as signs. So uh, a lot of the trick with, with landscaping, you see that I changed the texture of the walkways uh, to this kind of cobbly flagstone -y thing. That is one of the textures we have. 
and uh, did a trim out also using those pillars, the same pillars that are on the upright, uh, the upright feature on the building itself, uh, all angled appropriately and uh, having their, their widths changed and stuff. So I wanted to make this kind of a pleasant, uh, quiet area uh, before the hurly-burly of the honking and squealing and roaring uh, owls in the park. Um, I wanted to make that uh, cafe uh, a semi-integral part of it. It's kind of its own thing, but part of its background is built right in to this. Um, I may eventually stick some kind of uh, guest thing in there. Obviously, an information uh, module would be the obvious choice into the building to pull guests into there so we see them uh, enter it and uh, the other facility uh, that uh, is featured in the building uh, just to get traffic uh, through there even though they're not necessarily using it the way it uh, would theoretically be used in the game world. Um, so a lot of plant messing with the plants, trying to get them to look a little bit better, expanding the lighting system uh, to um, better, grow, better bring it into line. So guest services is the main um, part of the big part of the building. Um, you didn't need to see me uh, spell it all out. And the other one, uh, if you didn't catch it, is the Paleo Theater. Um, and uh, that has a main entrance and an exit area, and I probably need to put in and put exit signs on the exit. Um, there's a lot of little details I haven't gotten to for this uh, building. Um, in part because they're trying to keep it down to the uh, time limit for us low-grade YouTubers um, or low-viewed YouTubers. It's really got nothing to do with the grade. Uh, you see a little bit of my uh, <laughs> fencing up there is sticking out. Uh, that's something I didn't clean out during this part of the uh, video recording uh, as we're taking you through sort of a cinematic walk past the various features uh, with uh, trash cans and some seating put in and uh, forgot to uh, put plants in that little planter in the corner still need to do that uh, get services peek into the lobby um, got a little bit of imposing structure to it um, yet still relatively simple um, we're a little too low here there we go uh, you can see the ticket entrance and the distance. Um, and there's a little alcove area here uh, on the left disappearing. And that would be the exit where I need to put those signs. Um, so that's pretty much what I have uh, in this build. Um, it needs more finishing. I'd like to wait until we have some of the signage that Clay has promised in one of the uh, upcoming uh, monthly updates and uh, possibly either some more furniture that's more suitable to this kind of building um, rather than the more picnic-y furniture that's currently available for our guests and uh, or take the time to make it out which I haven't uh, uh, really had to, to delve that deeply. Um, so next time I think it probably will be attending to the Protoceratops exhibit and then maybe one more support kind of uh, speed build. Something a little less large <laughs> than this one uh, which took a, a long time. Uh, I'm trying to stock a few videos because real life is getting very busy for me right now and uh, I have to cram PK in where I can. So obviously I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. Uh, like the video if you thought it was interesting. Subscribe if you want to see more and uh, I will be producing some more videos. I hope you'll check those out as well and uh, there'll be more animals coming um, and more interesting things, I think, in this park. 
uh, it is a challenge and I will still be trying to maintain that uh, monetary flow while I build this stuff. Uh, so far, so good, um, at least in the current iteration. You all take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay well. So long now.